Hey. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to see you all. And I would love for as many people to have their cameras on so I can see your beautiful faces. It doesn't matter if you're eating dinner or sitting in your nightdress. This is a complete chill zone and uh, I would love to see you guys. So I know who I'm talking to more than anything else. And can you please make me co-host? I'm not sure. Yeah, please just make me co-host. Awesome. Hi, Gauri. Hi, Rajeshwari. Ritisha. NB is Namita. Not sure. Hi, Nirja. We are early, so we're just going to wait for a few people to join. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, why don't we do something to completely shift our energies, okay? So, um, shall I take you all through something? This is like the early bird special for those who came in early. <laughs> but guys, I need some response. Like, I can't see you all. I don't know if you can hear me. So, uh, either you will type in the chat box a yes or switch on your camera so I can see you and that'll make my life a lot easier thank you for cooperating there you are gauri so lovely to see you awesome 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 okay so while we're waiting i want you all to collect all the things that have happened to you today just just kind of collect it the good bad ugly right all the things that worked for you all the things that didn't work for you all the things that went right, went wrong, all the things that drained you out, the things that lit you up. Just kind of close your eyes and gather everything, all the experiences of today. Just visualize that you're putting it into this bucket in front of you. I right? just put, take all your fatigue, all your emotions, all your stresses, all your worries, all your regrets, all the joys, all the happiness, all the gratitude, just put it in this bucket in front of you. You with me? Just give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Awesome. Just put it. And as you put it, just kind of get present to everything that's in the bucket in front of you. Like, wow, what a day. There was so much that happened. There was so much that happened. And it's okay. It's okay. Whatever happened, I'm going to give you something now. The access mantra. And we're going to chant it together. And maybe we're going to sing it together. But first, we'll chant it a few times. And once you're done with that, we'll start singing it, okay? So it goes like this. Just close your eyes and listen the first few times. I'll say it and then you can start singing with me. So it goes like this. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, glory. And allow that to sink into your world. Allow that to sink in. Where you're giving a very clear intention to the universe that whatever has to happen, that's fine. I'm choosing to have ease, joy, and glory through it. Okay? So... Now we're going to start singing and for those who put on their cameras, I would love to see you enjoy and sing along with me, okay? So it goes like this. All of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to me 
with his joy and glory. Are you singing with me? All of life comes to me with his joy and glory. All of life comes to me with his joy and glory. All of life comes to me with his joy and glory. Would you like to unmute and sing with me? Come on, let all of you, let's unmute. Put your cameras on, put your videos on, and let's get started. Okay, so three, two, one, go. All of life comes to, comes me, to me with ease joy. joy and glory. All of life, all of life comes, comes, to me. comes to me with ease joy and glory. All of life comes to me. With his joy and glory, all of life comes to me. With his joy and glory, musical performance. <laughs> How does it feel? Relaxing. Can't hear you. I said relaxing. Relaxing. Yes. Yes. After yes. a full days of work. Yes, I know. I know. Sometimes it can just get so overwhelming. Okay. Alright. Yes. <laughs> so I will give you the lyrics at the end of the webinar so thank you for asking most definitely i would love to share it with you we will also email you the lyrics so don't worry about it all right so with that guys i guess it's time a very very warm welcome to each one of you to today's webinar on the possibilities mindset my name is jan kiravani i'm your happiness coach international uh, bars facilitator and today I have two questions for you. So how many of you would like to break away from all your limitations, all the things that are holding you back, all the things that are making you feel stuck in just one day? How many of you are ready to get rid of all that drama in just one day? Give me a yes in the chat box. Awesome, 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 awesome. Lovely, lovely. So many yeses. Amazing. And how many of you would like to not only heal yourselves, but also heal your friends, family, clients, everyone around you? Because we live in a world where we do affect each other and I can't be happy alone. I have to spread it. Likewise, when you will love this, you will want to spread it. So how many of you want to share this joy that you are going to experience in life with the entire world. Give me a me in the chat box. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fantastic. My video is distorted. I am so sorry. Can you all not see me, hear me? Just give me a heads up. Video keeps freezing. Oh, okay. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, let me just switch to my hotspot, guys. One sec. Okay. So, can you guys hear me better now? Is this better? 
<laughs> no, not that. Okay. Okay. Is this any better? Okay. Much better. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done if it was not better. Awesome. So, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to each one of you for being here. Truly, I'm grateful. I know it's dinner time, family time, but you have taken out the time to come and attend this webinar with me. It only shows that you are aware of the, something easier and more joyful that is possible for your life. So, I have one last question for you. How many of you would like to live an easier life? Give me an E in the chat box. Easy. Anyone who would like to live a difficult life, like no. No easy for me. I want it difficult. Put a D in the chat box. That's absolutely okay. If you like ease like me, please put an E, a big fat E. Okay. So in today's webinar, guys, what am I going to share with you? Uh, I'm going to share with you a new way of living, a new way that is gentler, kinder, more fun, and definitely easier on everyone, including you. Yes, absolutely progress takes place outside the comfort zone, but I will share what it means to have more ease in life a little later in the webinar. The other thing that you're going to learn today is the possibilities mindset. Now, what is the possibilities mindset? How many of you know that your entire reality is created by what's running in your mind? That's the blueprint. If you're aware of that, just write B in the chat box. For this is my blueprint. My mind is creating my entire life. And if you don't know it, that's also okay. Just write no in the chat box. Awesome. You're going to learn how this possibilities mindset can help you change anything in a few seconds, no matter how long it has existed in your life, be it limitations, be it trauma, be it illnesses, everything can be shifted if you are willing. So that's another thing you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to apply this possibilities mindset in different areas of your life. So I'm going to share some case studies of how this has created magic for my clients and how it can now create this magic for you as well. And how you can apply this as a healer, therapist, coach, parent, businessman, student, employer, employee, everything. So before we go ahead, let me ask you this question. Where are you all joining from? Please put it in the chat box. Mumbai, Indore, Hyderabad, Pune, Hyderabad, Pune, Dubai, Hyderabad, Mumbai. Fantastic. Mumbai, Mumbai, Mumbai. Okay. <laughs> Bangalore, Calcutta. Love it. Love it. More Mumbai. Surat, I like it. Okay. Anyone from Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Guwahati? I thought I saw... Some of my friends from Guwahati join as well. Lovely. Okay. Awesome. So we're from all over, literally, uh, Dubai and India included. A lot of cities have joined in. And tell me, what do you do? Like, are you a healer, therapist, coach, parent, employer, employee, college student, uh, retired but still working kind of person? Uh, what do you do? Counseling psychologist, homemaker, fantastic, employee, manager, employee, digital marketing, full-time and freelancer, healer, teacher, teacher, engineer, dentition, and nutritionist. Wow, I like that. Artist, small business owner. I love that. 
Reiki Grandmaster and Area Manager for a travel company. Wow, amazing, amazing. Self-employed and guide and healer, yes. Manager, quality management services, businesswoman, I like it. Super, super, super. So we have a whole different bunch of people here. And tell me, how many of you here are parents? Just write a P in the chat box. Okay. Parents. Fabulous. Fabulous. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And I would have told you, but I don't want you to type this. How many of you have relationships that you struggle with? Right? Just like you can raise your hands or just give me a digital thumbs up. English through stories to children. How lovely, Mino. That's fantastic. Okay. And how many of you would love more ease with making money? Awesome. Awesome. Somebody's like, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. So let's jump into what I really want to share with you today. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you is a little bit about me. Is that okay if I share a little bit about who I am. And I know there are a lot of new people here. There are a lot of you who've probably heard this a hundred times. And uh, some of you love me so much. You all come for all my workshops and webinars. So huh, lots of love to that. But uh, to all the new people who are here, I would love to share a little bit about me. Can we have the slide, someone? Yeah. So my name is Janki Ravani. I'm an international happiness coach based in Mumbai. Uh, though I have work and operations all over the world. So I have clients across six continents. I'm a TEDx speaker, two times award winner. I have um, given a TED Talk, uh, been featured on newspapers, radio, podcasts, a whole bunch of things. But what I love more than anything else is teaching people how to take ownership of their lives and teaching people how to be happy right? So today, if anything else, you're going to take away that anything is possible. By the time you leave this webinar, you're going to know that everything is possible. Okay. Can we go to the next slide, which has the pictures? Uh, can you um, make this big? Because I can see a lot of different things here. Okay. Okay. So can you all see um, the screen? So this is me uh, talking at the Youth Speak Forum, getting an award for innovation and happiness, getting an award at the World Happiness Congress in 2020, addressing a hall full of people, uh, giving a TED Talk, being featured in newspapers, in national dailies like Danik Bhaskar uh, and Jagran, which you all are probably aware of. Okay, that's enough about me. And uh, thank you, Suman you can switch off the screen. All right, all right. So coming back to who I am and why do I do what I do? So how many of you at some point in your life thought, I want to make the world a happier place? Like, you know, when you're a kid and you just want people around you to be happy, you just want to see your parents happy, your teachers happy, your friends happy. You hate seeing people upset. And you would do anything to change it for your loved ones. And for those of you who became teachers, healers, therapists, coaches, parents, how many of you dearly want with all your heart to be able to just take a magic wand and go whoosh, and change everything for your loved ones? I know, me totally, totally. Not only for my loved ones, for every client, for every person that comes in on my webinars, my free uh, talks, uh, my interviews, I love helping people to be happier. So one of the things that I learned uh, about, just I'm just going to put everyone on mute. Okay. So my journey began in 2016 when I was on maternity leave and I realized that I want to do something different. Like I literally got a calling from inside which said, Janki, your corporate stint is over. At that time, I was working for a multinational managing 1,500 people in West India as their HR business partner. And I got a calling saying, Janki, you're done. You need to move on. 
I said, cool. And after that, a series of events took place, which ultimately in 2018 got me to a point where I attended my first Access Bars class. How many of you have ever heard of Access Bars? Just raise your hands, like digital. Awesome. Awesome. Some of you have, some of you haven't. That's okay. Now, 20 years back when I was like 20 years old, I remember I used to go for a lot of spiritual classes. So I've studied the Bhagavad Gita and the Vedanta treaties and a whole bunch of spiritual things. And I loved it because they said, don't get angry, don't get attached, stay detached, don't let anything affect you. And I said, this all sounds amazing. I'm willing to do it. Just tell me how. And every time I asked someone how, they said, mm, you'll figure, you know, you have to figure it out on your own. And I said, that's dumb. You're telling me something amazing, but then you're not telling me how to do it. This doesn't make sense, right? So I gave up the whole spiritual pursuit. I said, to hell with this, I'm going to make money. So I joined the corporate, did my MBA, made a lot of money. And then I said, okay. And now in 2018, I'm sitting in a classroom, the access bars, my first class. And one after the other, my mind is getting blown because I'm suddenly thinking that, oh my God, 20 years back, the question I asked to those teachers who were teaching me the Bhagavad Gita and the Vedanta studies, and I said, how do you apply this in day-to-day -day life when, you know, life is happening? You know, there are, at that time, of course, I had boyfriend issues, but when there is financial issues and boss issues and children issues and in-laws issues and traffic issues, I said, when life is happening, how do you stay detached and not get affected and, you know, be all holier than thou? And here in this access class, I found the most amazing tools which I could finally, in my head, I was thinking, yes, that. And now I finally know how to apply these tools in my day-to-day -day life. Apart from that, what I also realized is, how many of you have ever gone for a healing session? Just give me an H in the chat box if you've ever done a healing session, gone for a healing session or received one, or put a no, like an N, if you've never got a healing or a therapy or a coaching session. Okay, okay. Most of you have. Hmm. Okay, okay. Quite a few haven't. The counseling psychologist who said, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> You're a psychologist. You've definitely gone like, you know, gone sessions done, I'm guessing, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. Okay. So here in the access class, not only was I learning the most amazing tools which can help you live more mindfully, stay detached, practice detachment in its true essence. But also, it's as simple as you make someone lie down, you touch their head gently in 32 different points, and suddenly all the drama, trauma, everything has been sucked out like through a vacuum cleaner and just exited their reality. So not only was it mind-blowing that I'm getting tools to live everyday life more mindfully, the next thing I know is a person can just lie down in front of me. I can touch their head very gently. And in about an hour, I can release lifetimes of limitations, beliefs, trauma, drama, aches, pains. Okay. And that's the day I decided I'm going to teach the access bars. Okay. Now, how many of you have heard of past life regression? Anyone? mostly everyone, right? In past life regression, it's a very beautiful modality. I've studied it. I also do it for my clients. You would have to go to a certain lifetime, see what happened, find out what it was exactly, then, you know, correct it in a certain way, kind of do a healing, uh, releasing, reframing, rescripting, a whole bunch of things, right? And then you come back to the present and hope that it's gone. It works. It works beautifully, but it requires a lot of skill as a therapist. And me, given how lazy I am, I was always like, but is there an easier way to do this? How many of you have heard of inner child healing? Anyone? Inner child healing, regression. Correct. So again, when I heard inner child healing, and I do all these modalities day in and day out for my clients, again, I said, this is great, but the person has to go back to that trauma, to the drama, relive it, you know, again, there is Rona Dhona. There is a lot of intense emotions that come up. And then I have to, you know, heal, resolve, 
reframe, rescript, and do all that. And again, the kind of person I was, I was like, can it be easier? Can it be easier? Okay. So this question of mine that I would keep asking, can it be easier? Is there an easier, more fun way to do it? Brought access into my life. So with access, so what is access? Can I tell you what is access consciousness? Access consciousness is a way of life. It is a technique which when you will begin to use it, will start opening up a world of possibilities for you. A possibilities where anything you ask, like I was asking for ease. I was asking for fun. So that's what opened for me. If there are people who are asking for something different and it doesn't matter what it is, you will receive it. Now, here's the fun part. Not only will you receive it, but if you feel like, mm, I didn't like this. How many of you love shopping on Amazon? Like, if I don't like it, I can just give it back, right? So that's the beauty of access. It teaches you that not only can you ask for something and receive it very easily, if you don't like it, you can even send it back and ask for something else. So you're literally learning how to use the universal Amazon, okay? And when I started learning this technique, I started shifting everything in my life. So one of the first things that shifted was my financial reality. The money that I was making in a month, I started making in a week. And it's only been getting better after that. If initially I was, uh, you know, reaching out, sending emails to people, trying to get clients. Now I was sitting here doing something in my head, something very, very fun. And boom, within two, three, four days or maximum a week, that specific client, corporate, school, college would reach out to me. So I remember if, if the people in Bombay will be aware, uh, there's a very big school called Jamnabai. And I said, hmm, I want Jamnabai to call me and invite me for a talk for their students. And within four days, somebody from Jamnabai called and said, hi, Janki, we got your reference from someone just yesterday. We have 300 students. We would like you to come and give a talk to them. And I said, okay, <laughs> nice. And then I said, I would like to do an offsite in Goa. And the next thing I know, somebody calls me a week later and said, Janki, our trainer has backed out. We have an offsite in Goa. Can you come and do it for us, please? I said, okay. And then like that, a series of events. But I think one of the biggest things I shifted was asking for money. So how many of y'all are coaches, healers, therapists, and hate asking for money? Like, I would love to get paid more, but I don't know how to ask for it. Even in corporates, even if you're an employee, right? You would love to get paid more, but you're like, no, they are better than me. How can I ask? I just got a raise. Or everybody gets only 7%. How can I ask for 15%? So much chitter, 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 chatter goes on in your head, right? And again, this was one of the things that shifted for me. I said, hmm, can I get 10,000 bucks an hour? And boom. Can I get 20,000? And boom. Can I get 50,000? And boom. So every time I said, let's go ahead and see what else is possible, things would start opening up for me. And this is just for me. If I had to share one of the recent things that happened for my clients. So as I said, Access Bars is a lifestyle. It's a way of life. It's a tool. It's a technique. It's a bunch of tools, like probably more than 8,000 tools that can help you get unstuck from anything in life. Okay. So this is some of the experience I have had, and I will share some client experiences in the next bit. But let me ask you guys for a moment. what where in your life do you feel most stuck? Like either an area or something about yourself? What is it that like you really wish you could change? I know the last time somebody said, I would like to change my spouse. <laughs> that I'm not helping with. But uh, what is it that you would love to change? Okay, so money, relationships, what else? If you could change something, have the freedom to work on your own terms, work activity, self-confidence, communication, live life with ease, be carefree. Amazing. Amazing. Money, relationships, beautiful. Health, anyone? What else? Okay. So access can help you change 
Okay, some more answers are coming in. Let me just take a look. The ability to make decisions, relationship, kind heart, health, money, relationships. Confidence, work activity, freedom, working on my own terms. Okay, awesome. So reach more people. Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Okay. So what all can you change with access? With the tools of access consciousness, you can change anything as long as you can think of a different possibility. So if you can think of a different possibility with your body, with your weight, with your finances, with your job, career, setting up a business, getting more clients, um, parenting, teaching, anything at all, if you are willing to explore and admit and acknowledge and tap into the possibilities that you are aware of, you are going to be able to change it. And I mean it because I've literally over the last five years that I've been practicing and teaching access, I've seen people change it all from chronic health issues, from chronic health issues, financial issues, starting new businesses, attracting the right kind of life partner, raising loans and finances, anything, as long as you are willing to demand a greater possibility. What is the word? Willing. Can you just take a moment and say it to yourself? Willing. It's a very powerful word. Because if you're willing to demand it, if you're willing to have it, the universe is saying, done, tathastu, so be it, inshallah, amen. Okay? Now, the Access Consciousness, it's a organization that was set up by Gary Douglas and later Dr. Dane here. And they are based in Houston, Texas in the US. And what Gary channeled, when he channeled this entire modality, he realized that anything is possible if you're willing to ask some questions and dissolve your existing points of views about it. And in the one day access bars class, that is what you learn, the tools of how to dissolve your points of views and how to ask questions in a way that it's always empowering for you. When you're willing to ask a question, actually when you ask a question, you create a void in the universe. What does a void mean? An empty space. And when there is a void, what happens? The universe doesn't like a void. The universe wants to instantly fill it. But it can fill it with exactly what you have asked for. Now, think in the last maybe one month, how many of you were asking, like, I really need my life to change? Or I need this aspect of my life to change? How many of you remember making a very clear demand? Think about it last one week, 10 days, one month, two months. It is no coincidence that you are here. The fact that you made a demand, I want, maybe someone said, I want more ease or I want to make more money or I want to have more fun in my relationships or I want to change my career. I need more ease with my health. There was some demand you made and which is why this webinar, whether you came through an ad a reference, a link, WhatsApp. However you got connected, it is because you were willing to make a demand and ask a question that this invitation came to you because had you not asked, you would not have received. So can you just acknowledge to yourself like, wow, constantly everything that's happening in my life is based on what I've been asking, saying, willing, demanding, including this moment where you're listening to me. There are no coincidences in the universe, all right? So what Gary Douglas channeled was that if there are these 32 points on the head, which when you gently touch them, okay, they're very specific points. And when you gently touch someone's head in those places, it starts releasing all the limitations, beliefs, thoughts, emotional charge, that is keeping a person stuck in the existing reality, be it with your finances, health, relationships, anything at all, not only from this lifetime, even past lives. Wherever you are stuck, 
it could be something that was traumatizing you years ago, which you're not able to let go of. Even that, by running the bars, you can just get rid of it just like that. Like, you know, I'm sleeping, someone touches my head, boom, my head is clear. So let me give you an example. Um, my last access class about two, three weeks ago, there was a girl who learned to access and uh, she went home. She was very excited and she she's like everyone. And I tell them, right, for the next 20 days, please catch whoever you can and run their bar so you get practice. So she went home and her neighbor came and she said, I'm going to run your bars. And she just ran the neighbor's bars and the neighbor was sweet enough to say, okay, you know, do whatever you want. I'll be your guinea pig. And she ran this girl's bars. The next day, the girl came and shared that there was a very traumatic experience that happened to me 16 years ago. It was so traumatic. Like if you've heard of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, like I have not been able to sleep properly since then. I wake up multiple times a night. And since you ran my bars yesterday, I slept through the night peacefully. I didn't even wake up once. So imagine somebody who hasn't slept through the night for 16 years in one hour of running the bars is just able to fall asleep so gently and sweetly without any of that emotional charge coming to haunt them, right? Another client that one of my, the people who learned bars from me went and recently shared with me that a businessman came to her and again, they, they were willing to get their bars run as a trial for the first time. And he said, something that I've been struggling with for 10 years, the confusion, the clarity, the chatter, the constant ifs and buts and self-doubt and this and that, and what if it goes wrong? And that whole you know procrastination, inertia, confusion, he said, my mind is so clear and I feel like, wow, I've just woken up and everything is crystal clear to me. There are people who've come back to me, and this is my clients, a week later and said, my aches and pains have gone. I don't get period cramps anymore. My migraines have reduced in intensity and frequency, right? I'm making more money. I'm losing weight. So a whole bunch of benefits from simply running your bars. Now, so what are you really, like I said, it's a vacuum cleaner sucking out all this. But why is it so important to suck out what's here? Tell me, why is it so important? Who would like to unmute and share? Come on. No spoon feeding. I'm your coach, because it, not your first grade teacher. <laughs> because yes, it Ruma. replaces in our mind. Because it replaces in our mind. Yes, yes, absolutely. Do you know how many thoughts you have per day? Anyone put it in the chat box quickly. Let me see. Fastest finger first. Who knows the correct answer? 70,000. We have more than 80,000 thoughts a day. And do you know the sad part? More than 80, 85% of those are repetitive, useless thoughts. Something could have happened in the first half of the day. And in the night also, you know, that happened. You know, that happened. How could she say this to me? Why did she say this to me? Why do they always do this to me? Repetitive, useless thoughts, right? And these useless thoughts, what happens is every time you have a thought, it creates a neuro pathway. So if, you, if you're if you used to complaining, the complaining pathway is so strong, you can't take any other pathway. So if you're trying gratitude and all, it's tough. But if you run your bars, what you've just done is like, destroy all those old neuro pathways. Now, what happens when all the old neuro pathways are destroyed? For the first time, you will live from a true sense of freedom and possibilities. For the first time, you will live with, wow, anything is possible. How many of you have a bad habit that you would like to change about you? Like, you know, it's it's a character flaw. Like, I remember I used to be so lazy. and I, I still am. Uh, but I remember I used to like, if only I was not lazy, I would be so much more successful in life. Do you have that one thing you hate about you? For me, it was laziness. What is it for you? Put it in the chat box.
It could be your low confidence. It could be your inability to speak English, inability to wake up early. It could be anything, whatever it is, just put it in the chat box. Okay, your habit of worrying, not being able to wake up early. Okay. Laziness, sleeping, inability to say no, low confidence, fear of failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inability to share emotions, okay. Yeah, so many things which keep us stuck. Procrastination, self-doubt, low incentive, sleep late, okay. Okay, so it is because you believe this is what is wrong with you that it becomes your wrongness like i believed that because i was lazy i would never be successful and when i learned to access i think the biggest gift it, it gave me two big gifts one is helping me see my laziness as my biggest superpower because in access there's a saying your biggest wrongness is your biggest strongness the bad english is intentional okay so when they say this it actually means that when I heard this statement, I said, how is laziness my strongness? How is laziness my strength? And then I realized, hmm, like I said, universe, I don't know. Show me how is laziness my biggest strength? And then I realized that all through life, I had always found a way, always found a way to do things in the easiest possible way because I was so lazy and refused to do Gada Majuri and put in too much effort. And now, as an international happiness coach, I find the easiest possible tools so even my clients can have this easier. Isn't that amazing? Something that I thought was the wrongness of me for all my life for 30, 35 years suddenly becomes my biggest superpower. Now, think about it. This thing that you think is wrong with you, your inability to wake up, your procrastination, your inability to feel emotions. What if I could show each one of you a way where you start saying, oh yeah, this is actually my strength. This is what makes me unique. This is exactly how I'm going to convert this into a gift and share it with the world. I converted my gift and I'm sharing it with the world. Do you agree? My mission in life is to help people to be happier in the easiest possible way which is why my tagline is tools you can use in five seconds on the go, anytime, anywhere. I don't want to put in more effort than five seconds, right? So how many of you would love to learn tools that can help you in five seconds? Give me a yes in the chat box. Yes. Yes, I love the excited yes. <laughs> Amazing. Badawala, yes. I like that, Santosh. <laughs> yes. Amazing. 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 Super. So is it okay if I share with you the one day access bars class, which I teach, which is literally life changing. Like, and I, as I said, one, the two gifts I got from access was one was it helped me change my laziness into my superpower. Actually, not change, recognize. The second was me as a parent. Of course, yes, I started making more money, got clients with a lot of ease. But as a parent, the kind of ease it brought into my world when I stopped making myself wrong for being bad mother, making my children wrong for not being perfect children. I think the kind of ease and allowance that I tapped into for myself and my children, my family, my husband, my in-laws, my clients, that was phenomenal okay so let me now tell you about the one day access bars class this is a one day class like a 10 a.m to 6 p.m it's in person not online most of my classes are online except the access bars class because it's a hands-on process right i have to touch you have to touch someone's head to be able to give them the bars so in this one day class you learn two things the first is how to run the bars. The bars are basically 32 points on the head, which when you gently touch, it starts releasing, dissolving all the judgments, agendas, conclusions, limiting beliefs. All of that is just gone, just like that. Okay, that's the first part of the class. The second part of the class 
after you've run your bars and you go back into the world, what happens? You start collecting garbage again, <laughs> right? So the second part of the class is giving you a bunch of most amazing, powerful, simple tools that you can use in just five seconds to identify that garbage, become aware of it and change it, right? So if you were living your life being conscious and mindful, you would have no problems. You would literally be able to solve any problem in seconds. But the reason we're not able to solve it and the reason we get stuck is because we are not aware. So running your bars will always make you more aware and conscious. But these tools will make your daily interactions a lot more fun, right? And one of the tools I already shared with you for the people who joined in five minutes early, I shared with you, it was the access mantra. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, glory. I will share it on email. Don't worry about writing it. Okay. So when you repeat this access mantra, for example, 10 times in the morning and 10 times before bed, you're programming your mind and your life and a very clear indication to the universe. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, glory. It means I don't care if I have a headache. I don't care if I'm stuck in traffic. I don't care if I have to be stuck in a boring meeting or I'm interacting with a client. I want ease, joy, glory through it. Isn't that simple? How many of you think it's simple? Give me an S. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So in this class, it's a, by the way, it's an international certificate course. So if you are a healer, coach, therapist, psychologist, whatever, you can actually, even if you're not, even if you're just a housewife, even if you're a homemaker, only a parent, you will get internationally certified as an access bars practitioner listed on the international web portal where you anybody can reach out to you and say, hey, you're a certified practitioner. Can you run my bars? And you can charge money for it, right? This international certificate is valid at anywhere in the world. So today, like, I remember I had a client who said, Janki, I'm shifting to Singapore next month. And I said, awesome. You can start your own practice in Singapore immediately, right? So from the very next day, you can start practicing as a professional and charge whatever fee. So anywhere from 500 bucks, 1000 bucks to 20,000, 50,000, sky's the limit for you. Because if you think it's possible, it's possible, okay? So this is about the access bars class. Now, over to you for questions. By the way, are any of you wondering why I'm wearing a flower? Because <laughs> my son just came before the uh, class and gave it to me and uh, I thought, why not? Okay. How can this be used for our parents or abusive parents? Okay. So what you're going to learn in access, what you're going to learn in the access bars, A, when you get your bars run, that's going to release the trauma. All the trauma that you've been going through with the abusive parents, number one, that trauma is going to leave your world. Once that trauma has left your world, you will be able to relook at everything in your life with a greater sense of possibilities, right? If you're up for it, you can also go back and run your parents' bars and see what shifts for them. But even if you don't do that, you will get a whole bunch of tools on that you can use on yourself to dissolve any trauma, drama, hurt, pain, anything that needs to be healed within you you'll be able to begin shifting that very, very quickly for yourself. Okay, number one. Number two, um, somebody is asking me, can you learn it in one day? Absolutely. So when you come for the class, you will learn the access bars. You will give the bars twice to someone. So you will practice it twice. You will get your bars run twice. Now, for example, I charge between 15 to 18,000 rupees per session to run somebody's bars and do an access clearing session for them, a 90-minute session. So if you had to come to me to get your bars run once and meet me in person, it would cost you 15 to 18,000 anyway. But if you come for this class, this class is, by the way, for 24,000 plus whatever are your venue charges, depending on where we do it. 
So for 24,000, you'll get your bars run twice. You will run the bars twice. And within a month, you can actually recover the entire investment. Even if you just charge 1,000 rupees and get 20 people in the month, 20, 25 people, your investment is recovered. All right. Now, what will you learn in the access bars class? You will learn the points on the head. You will get a head chart. So you will take back the reference sheet, which you can you know, look at and keep running bars. You will also learn how to run the bars for yourself. So don't worry if you can't, uh, if you say, yeah, but I've learned alone. Um, the bonus is that when you run somebody else's bars, your bars also get run. Because what you're releasing in them, you're releasing in yourself. It's also the Ho'oponopono principle, right? If I have to heal something in you, I heal it in me. If I heal it in me, I heal it in you. So when you're running somebody's bars, you're getting paid for it. And you're getting a bar session free, right? Also at night, I will show you how you can run the bars for yourself. So every night, if you keep running your bars, you will realize your head is more and more empty of all that self-doubt, limitations, low confidence, all that will just start over a period of time going away, right? Apart from that, you learn the tools. The tools are things that you can say quickly to change your mindset, to start releasing yourself from that limited belief, from the judgments, assumptions, conclusions, right? So you get yourself unstuck in less than five seconds, okay? Once you heal someone, do they not go back to that mindset or are they completely healed? So, Meenu, that's a great question. In my experience, once you release it from someone, it doesn't come back. Yes, if the person chooses to, and let me tell you, there is a huge difference here. I've had tons of clients who come and say, wow, that thing we were struggling with, we don't even think about it anymore. And let me share my example, okay? When I did the access classes, there were some areas of my life that I was struggling with. And, you know, when the class happened, I said, no, nah, the class was nice. It was brilliant. I love the tools. But that running the bars thing didn't do any, like, you know, electrical, magical things to me. But three weeks, four weeks down the line, when I looked back, I said, I've not used the tools specifically to change anything. But suddenly everything has changed. How? And then I realized that was the beauty of the bars. Somebody is just lying down and sleeping. It could be your child. It could be your parent. It could be your spouse. It could be a client. And then boom, it's just gone. And it'll be gone from their world sometimes. And this is the little sad part. Sometimes it'll be gone. They'll not even realize and thank you for it. Because they don't even remember it. So I have so many clients. Like I remember one client I did a session for where uh, he had a cold 365 days a year. I mean, I just met this new person and his nose was red. Like, you know, imagine literally Rudolph the red nose reindeer. And I said, you know, like he was taking out his napkin. Every, every two seconds wiping his nose. And, you know, after a while I asked him, I said, what's happening? You have a bad allergy? He said, no, no, this is 365 days I have it. So I said, you know, I do this. You can come try it out. And he said, yeah, sounds good. He came. And then I never heard from him again. Three years later, I bumped into him somewhere. And I saw like he doesn't have a red nose anymore. So I said, oh, your cold is gone. And he's like, what cold? And I was like, don't you remember we did that session? And he was like, kuch to tha. I said, something you were struggling with for 365 days has just gone magically. And you don't even call to say thank you. But that's what happens with the bars. It goes away so beautifully. People don't even realize it. So yes, the testimonials are a little less <laughs> because people have forgotten it's it's come and gone in their lives, okay? So no, it doesn't come back. But we are infinite beings. If we want to create it, we can create massive shit again and again in our life. So that's a choice, okay? I have a lot of clients who tell me on my face, like, no, I like this drama. I want to continue. I say, please, by all means, as long as you're having fun, it's fine, all right? Uh, somebody asked me, how is this different from Reiki, right? And if I've missed your question, please, can you ask me again, right? So in Reiki, you're channeling, and I'm sorry, I'm not done Reiki. If there are any Reiki people here, you can correct me. But from the little I understand about Reiki, you're taking cosmic energy and you're healing, you're sending it to someone to heal them, right? In Access, you're doing actually the opposite. You're taking the limitations, you're taking the beliefs, you're taking all that stuff which is keeping them stuck 
day after day, month after month, year after year, lifetime after lifetime, and you're just pressing the delete button on them forever. You know how there's a delete button and there is a shift delete? We are doing shift delete, right? We're deleting it from their system. Now, here's the beautiful part. When you run your bars and you heal yourself, you're actually healing everyone around you as well. And this goes for any modality, whether it's Reiki, whether it's access, whether it's past life regression, whether it's pranic healing or whatever other modalities. When you heal yourself, you begin to heal the world. You begin to heal your ancestral line. You begin to heal the children coming out to you, right? So in a way, access is something that will empower you with fun tools. Now, see, one of the reasons why I love access is because A, it can change anything in seconds. B, you can literally sleep and change the world. But most importantly, it's, it's something that makes anything possible, right? It's like if as long as you can think about it, as long as you believe in it, doesn't matter if the world doesn't believe in it. I've done so many things in my life which people go like, no, no, it's really tough. You can't do it. And I've done it so easily. I'm just like wondering what were they talking about? But that's because only I'm aware of that possibility. Right? Now, here's one amazing bonus. If you have children 16 years and below, if you are a paid participant for the class, your children can attend the class for free. Right? So, and it doesn't matter if your children, you can bring your grandchildren as well. Okay? So, it doesn't matter. As long as your children are above five years of age and 16. Five to 16, they attend free. 17 and 18, they pay 50% price. Above 18 and above, they pay full price. Okay? Now, somebody's asked a question in the chat box. Won't that come into me? Won't that transferred energy get locked into me? No. What you're doing in the bars, and that's the technique when you learn it, you're taking it from the person going into you and out into the universe. Okay? And <laughs> you don't have children, but you have grandchildren. I know you have a granddaughter, very cute, who can absolutely come for that class, right? And here's the thing. My children, uh, the minute I learned access, my children were three and seven. I went home and the first thing I did was taught them. In fact, I re-attended a class just to take my older son, the seven-year-old, for that class and he has always used they both use the tools of access even now maybe it's just to find an eraser or a lego piece or to make sure the teacher doesn't catch them when homework is not done so they do all the magic and make sure the teacher doesn't even see them they use the tools more powerfully than us so if you have children please bring your children for the class you don't have to pay for them if they are 16 or under Okay, which is brilliant because you're empowering your child with a possibilities mindset that's going to serve them for the rest of their life. All right. Uh, any other questions before I give you the dates for the programs? Any questions that I missed in the chat box? Um, yeah, it doesn't get transferred to you. Any other questions? Access bars and theta healing different. Okay, so... The first thing I learned, by the way, when I was changing from corporate to healing was theta healing. And I've done 10 levels. And it is completely different because what you're doing in theta healing is you're... Anyone here is a theta healing practitioner? I've done 10 levels. I can tell you all about it. But I'll keep it simple. Uh, in theta, when a person comes with a problem, we are going to go to the root cause, you know, like travel, travel, travel across lifetimes, across childhood, across wherever to say, let me find the core belief. And after that, we will clear it. And after that, we will put a new belief. And after that, you will heal. And access is saying, this is a belief you don't like, right? I don't know. I don't care where it came from. Right? Let's just delete it. Simple, right? Why? When it's like, it's like a box of garbage. You have a box of garbage or things you don't need or use or broken and, you know, stupid items. Why would I want to pick each one and say, where did this come from? Who broke it? When did it break? Why did it break? How long has it stayed broken? Just like throw the whole box. So access is more generic. Theta is more specific where you go in like to the root cause and see where is this? Now, one of the reasons I used to hate Theta, and this is just personal, right? I love Theta, but I also used to hate it because you have to do too much digging. And that digging would sometimes, you know, to reach that core belief, 
would take me like half an hour, 45 minutes and sometimes I would not even reach the core beliefs. I would have to do two, three sessions. Access is like, boom, you know. As a coach, I remember because initially I used to do theta healing and then when I shifted from theta to access, the clients went like, what are you doing? 45 minutes, the session is over. Usually we would take three, four sessions to clear so much drama, right? So it's faster, it's easier, it's more fun. The good part is you can apply it in day-to-day -day life. If you're stuck in traffic, if your your queue is very long, you want to get an upgrade, you want to make somebody's life easier or difficult, you can use it instantly to create magic. Yeah, I, I, I have that. I, I like to sometimes make people's life difficult as well. Not mine. <laughs> uh, okay. So another question in the chat box that I saw was, how is it different from Ho'oponopono? It's actually very sim similar to Ho'oponopono. But in Ho'oponopono, you don't have the bars, right? So in Ho'oponopono, what you're saying is that there is an erroneous belief in me that I'm going to clear. In access, you're actually... See, one of the beautiful things about access is we have a body and bodies love to be touched. It's actually very nurturing when somebody very gently and lovingly touches you. That's a very nurturing, healing touch, right? So the beauty of access is you do it in person. You're giving this beautiful, gentle touch to someone and they can completely feel nurtured, relaxed, safe and literally doze off like... Sometimes I have clients snoring in my sessions and I know that while I'm running their bars, I'm still changing their entire life by deleting lifetimes worth of drama. In Ho'oponopono, also you can do it. You keep chanting, keep chanting, keep chanting. Here it's like a little more quicker because in one hour you're doing all the magic. Okay? Uh, Ho'oponopono is kind of indefinite because there are only three things I practice and teach now after, you know, doing all the you know, things of the world and spending lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of rupees doing multiple levels. Today, I use Ho'oponopono, somatic healing and access. These are my three pillars. These are the only three things I decided I'm going to teach because after access, I said, this is it. This is my benchmark. It has to be easy or easier. Nothing more tough than this. And these three are the easiest, okay? So yes, you will get an international certificate. It's valid across the world. You can use it from the very next day professionally to charge people. If you say to someone, hey, I run the bars, I'm internationally certified as a practitioner, you can come and do it, right? Another thing, you can even do it for like, I do it for my children when I'm putting them to sleep. And here's the beautiful part. For an adult, an access session would last anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes. For a child of five years or 10 years, just five to 10 minutes. For a newborn baby, just a minute, 30 seconds, enough, right? So you will learn that. Is somatic healing the same as you taught in the happy body workshop? In the happy body workshop, we did a bit of it, but somatic healing has a lot more, okay? Um, there was a question that I missed. Can you do it without telling anyone? If they're sleeping and they're your family member, yes. Is there a certification? Yes. Can you run your own bars? Yes. Is it different from Ho'oponopono? I covered that. Will one have to do these sessions ongoing or is it one time? Okay, that's a beautiful question. Access is a one-day class, right? It's a one-day class where you get tools plus the technique of access, the points and how to run them. It's a one-day, one-time investment that's going to help you for the rest of your life, okay? How to use the tools? See, when you learn any technique, remember learning it is one thing, internalizing and mastering it is another thing, right? So it's a one-time investment, one-day class, finished. But then I will support you on how you can practice it in different areas of your life, on different things. How can you clear that energy quickly? How can you tap into possibilities again? And how can you create anything that you know? Okay, so... I will support you. We will have an access group where you will get added. Everybody will share their something they cleared, something to inspire everyone to keep going. It's a community that you will join. And most of all, if there is <laughs> anywhere that you're stuck, you can always reach out to me. The people who have done classes with me in the past know that I'm always available for questions. You can send me a voice note. I will, at the earliest convenience, 
respond to it. So you will get supported. In fact, we have a lot of small, small challenges like a seven day challenge, a three day challenge, a 21 days challenge, where we'll take one tool and go deep into it. How to apply this one? Because you learn so many things, but learning is not the same as knowing, applying and knowing when to use it. So we will keep practicing it in fun ways so that we can internalize these tools, okay? So quickly, is it okay if I tell you the time, date, and location for the classes? All right. So as of now, we have three classes planned. The first one is on the, is it the 13th or 14th? Wow, Saturday in April, whichever it is. I think it's the 14th, but I'm not sure. 14th, April, Mumbai. Okay. Oh, here. Amazing. Can we? 13th April. Oh my God. Okay. 13th April is the Mumbai class. It's again 10 to 6. It will be in Andheri, very close to the highway at a hotel. And we will share all the details once you sign up. The next class is happening in Delhi. Delhi is 20th April in Delhi. And then Dubai. Dubai is happening on the 11th. 11th of May, right? Now, as of now, while, sorry, what did I do here? Sorry. Yeah. So, Mumbai, 13th April. Delhi, 20th April. And Dubai, 11th May. These are the three classes planned as of now. And of course, we are planning a class in Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Bangalore, even Guwahati, right? Can this heal terminally ill diseases like cancer? Okay. So being a healer, therapist, coach, executive coach, somatic healer, can you guys hear me? I suddenly feel my screen has blanked off. Okay. Okay. I can't seem to see anyone. Oh, sorry. I changed the screen. Okay, so being a healer, therapist, coach, somebody who's been working with people, and yes, I have had patients who've got cancer, who have been completely healed, but cancer is not something I will say claim to heal it. Yes, each person has an individual journey. Once I give you the tools, you can use it. The person will definitely have more ease if they choose to heal. If the person with cancer chooses to heal, they can use these tools to create magic and miracles for them. I've seen lots of them. I have, in fact, a testimonial and I'll share it on email. There was a lady with cancer, stage three aggressive breast cancer, who completely is out of it. It's been three, four years. She's living life to the fullest every day using the tools of access consciousness. So whether someone can heal or not, it is up to them because all of us have free will, right? It is a choice. But yes, the tools are available if you're willing to use it and have the possibility that I can heal. It's doable, right? It's dependent on every person. All right. So now, how many of you are in Mumbai and ready to come for the class? How many of you are in Delhi and ready to come to the class? Can we please share the link? Now, as I said, this investment is 24000 There are limited seats. 24000 is actually a very small amount compared to what this can create for you. And I invite you to ask the question right now, tap into the possibilities. If I could learn this, what will it create for my life? Tap into the possibilities. If I could learn a new way of living, a possibilities mindset, where literally anything is possible. If I can think of it, I can change it. If I can dream of it and demand it, I can have it, right? So if you are ready, I invite you to sign up for the class. And of course, the link is in the chat box for you to sign up. The 24,000 is the tuition fee. Plus, there will be a small venue cost depending on where we host the class. That's probably like maybe two, two and a half thousand rupees for India. It'll be different for Dubai. And this is for your one-day class. It includes your hotel, venue, meals, tea, refreshments, lunch, breakfast, and handouts, printouts, materials, certificate, everything included. All right? Any questions? Who's ready to sign up? 
amazing. So click the link and sign up. And if you need any clarity, any questions, I'm here. So all my Bombay people, am I seeing you on the 13th? Give me a yes in the chat box if you're coming on the 13th to see me. How many of you would love to meet me in person? I know I would love to meet each one of you in person. Nirja Pune class is also happening. I, I've not forgotten my promise. But if you can come to Bombay on the 13th, do that. I'll it's, definitely try. Yes, 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 definitely. So, yes, Nirja, did you have a question? When will be the Pune class? Come for the Bombay class. It's just two hours away now, especially with the Atal Setu. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very true. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I... Yeah, there's, there's one thing I would like to share with each one of you. How many of you think the time or money is not supporting you? Just give me a like a yes or a thumbs up in the chat box. Anyone who feels time and money is not supporting you. One of the first things I learned in the access class is when you don't want to choose something, you make time and money the excuse. There were times, and, and let me tell you this, okay, this really funny incident happened. So can I share one small personal story and then we jump back into the sales, okay? So Gauri, this one is specially for you. Okay, so I remember I wanted to visit uh, my cousin in Kenya. And uh, he had been begging me to come and begging me to come and begging me to come. And I said, no, 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 I have two small children. I have work. I have house. I have responsibilities. How can I just leave and come and visit you? No, no, no. And he and his family were going through a really tough phase. And he's one of the people I'm closest to in the world. And he said, I need you just come. And I was like, no, 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 no. I don't have time. Like we'll spend so much money just to come for three days to meet you. And I was making all these excuses in my head. And then I went for the access class and I learned that when you don't want to choose something, you make time or money the excuse. And I was like a little embarrassed. And I said, okay, am I making time and money the excuse? So here's the next thing you learn in access. So cool. Ask yourself the question, if time and money were not a problem, would I choose it? And I said, yeah, I would choose it. So then the next thing access teaches you is say, cool, what else is possible? I'm willing to have it. Universe, how can it, how can it become possible for me? Show me. And there are a bunch of questions and clearings that we do. So I did that. The same day, same day, in the evening, my husband comes to me and says, you know, your cousin has been asking you for so many days. It doesn't look good. He's telling you, I know the family is going through trouble. Why don't you go? And I'm like, you know, and I've not said anything, okay? And I'm like, okay. And then I look at my mother-in-law because obviously she's the deciding factor. And she goes like, yeah, 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 I'll manage. This is important. You must go. And then my father-in-law says, just call the travel agent and book the ticket. And that same night, something I had been saying no for two, three, four weeks. It just happened. And I went and came back also. And like, nothing changed, right? Like, nothing went wrong. The way I was thinking, no, no, how can I go? I have children and house and responsibilities. So sometimes... It's your point of view that creates your reality. It's your point of view which makes you feel, no, because of this, because of that, because I live in Pune, not in Mumbai, you know, because I live here, but not there, because I'm a working person, because I'm a parent and I have small children, because I have dogs. Just admit to yourself then that, yeah, I don't want to choose it. And that's fine. I respect your choice. Just don't fool yourself thinking, ah, oh, time and money. Otherwise, I would have definitely done it, okay? So coming back to uh, us. Uh, somebody said, Hyderabad, I would love to do a class in Hyderabad after Bangalore. So yes, um, definitely in June, we can look at it. If you want, just connect with us. I'm traveling. Okay, just one sec. I didn't read that. I've traveled for other classes, but I'm traveling due to work. So maybe other class in Mumbai or Hyderabad. Sure, absolutely. You can come to the Delhi class, the Mumbai class, the Dubai class, or uh, we can do a class in Hyderabad. You can come to Bangalore as well. No problem, right? So that's it from me. Any other questions? Any other thoughts that you have? Okay. 
So the link is in the chat box. What are you still thinking about? Nothing. You're ready to sign up. I can see that. I know you'll be there for my class, Satya Ji. And Usha Ji. And you will bring your granddaughter. And bring Garima also. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. So usually one more thing that I always recommend is to learn the class with somebody in your family. When you learn it with someone, what happens is you both can swap for each other. You practice on each other, for each other. You run it for each other and you have more fun because when you get stuck, that person is there to remind you. When they get stuck, you can remind them, right? So as a family, when you learn, it's much easier to implement and practice. Uh, somebody is asking, I've already done the class. Do I need to learn it again? Totally go by the energy of what you're aware of. If you feel learning it again, by the way, if you're repeating the class, you pay only 50%. So for you, the class price would be 12,000. So if you're willing to pay uh, that 12,000 and get a whole day, plus get your bars run twice, why not? Hop on. It'll be fun. And here's the other thing. Every facilitator has their own unique style. So if you would like to spend a day with me and you like my style, hop on. Yeah. Yes, Neerja, you have a question? No, no question. I said I really do like your style and I do want to meet you in person and I'm going to be there. Just yes. uh, do we have to sign up today or can we do it tomorrow or something? Yes, like no, you have to. You can sign up today mm -hmm. and we will share all the details. We can get on a call. Somebody from my team will also call you after this if you have any questions and we can take it forward. So guys, I like this question of do I have to sign up today, right? If not now, when? We've been sitting on this life for whatever, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. We've been living life in a certain way. Why not let everything change now from this moment on? Right? If you're feeling any doubts, anything that like, what about this? What about that? Ask me right now. The reason I insist on you asking it because when you sense a possibility and, you know, it's like possibilities come very gently and they go away. So if you have tapped into a possibility of something is possible, if I learn this class, if I attend on in Bombay or Dubai or Delhi, tap into that possibility, lean into it, demand it to show up. Don't just be like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll think about it. Like, that's not a problem. It's your life. But why not? Hey, Sakshi, how are you? Good to see you here. Awesome. So yes, any questions? Okay, there's one more thing. Any sign-on bonus? <laughs> Daval, you've already got a bonus from me as a one-to-one -one power coaching for the last one you attended. All right, so there are no sign-on bonuses for this class. This class is one of those class where you can, if you are aware of what this can create for you, you will not need a bonus to sign up. If you are convinced, sign up. Right? There are lots of bonuses, but I don't want you to sign up for the bonuses. The bonuses you will get the minute you sign up, I'll start sending you things. You will get access to the challenges that we are coming up with. You will get access to the merchandise we have around access. You will get all that. You will get the free swaps that you can come to, get your bars run, run somebody else's bars. All that is there. But I don't want you to sign up for this class based on what will I get. The tools that you're going to get this beautiful thing called the access, which is a beautiful way of living life with more ease, more joy, having more confidence, more love, more harmony, more possibilities, more gratitude, more kindness to yourself and others. Priceless. All right. So, yes. That's, um, yeah, Mumbai, Delhi and Dubai. If there is any other location that you are specifically looking for and uh, you can absolutely reach out to us, leave a, a message on this group saying, yes, Nirja, you can make the payment tomorrow. That's absolutely fine. We will share the link with you and uh, 
Yeah. And if you feel like somebody said Hyderabad and I know Ruma was asking me for Assam, we can absolutely arrange a class there. I'm I'm on a mission to reach 10 million people. And I don't know if in this lifetime I can reach 10 million people, but if I can train 100 of you and each 100 of you touches 100 more lives and they touch 100 more lives, I know the compounding effect will get me my 10 million people very, very fast. All right. So, yes, that's it from me. Anything else? If any of you have any specific questions about will this help this or that area of my life or, you know, getting a job, making money, healing a relationship, you can definitely ask me right now. I'm here for another five minutes. And uh, somebody asked, does it help heart blockages? There is a different process that you can do. And since you've already done the access bars class, I will share that with you, Sakshi. Yes, there is something you can do for physical illnesses, aches, pains as well. But that comes after you've done the class. Since you've done it, I'll share it with you. Right? And somebody said, Vadodra, Gujarat. I love that. I'm going to put that on my list. So, Ahmedabad, Vadodra, Surat, Hyderabad, Bangalore. Here I come. Satya ji, absolutely. You can do a bank transfer tomorrow. No worries, Nirja. You can also, thank you very much. You are both in. Right. So I said, Sakshi, yes, since you've done the access bars class with me, I will teach you an advanced process which you can use on your father for his heart blockage. Holy, he got admitted. Sure, sure. I will. I will. I will connect with you separately for that. Right. Okay. So as we close today's call, and thank you to all those of you who are location in Delhi, Ruma, the location we will be finalizing, but it'll be something central where people from the Delhi NCR region can reach very, very easily. So we'll make sure it's nicely connected. As of now, I don't have the location. We should have it in a week's time. At that time, I will definitely communicate it to you. I know you messaged me saying I have a lot of friends I want to share this with. Thank you for that. I will share the details with you as, as soon as I have them. Right? Awesome. Okay. So as we end this class, my invitation to you is start asking empowering questions. An empowering question is something as simple as what else is possible? How does it get better than this? What can I do here to change everything instantly? What will it take, right? And really just start trusting your own consciousness. And that's the thing that I was sharing and I got cut off in between. Access consciousness is all about accessing your own consciousness. It's where you learn to trust your knowing. Instead of running to someone else for answers, you'll start looking within because the entire universe's wisdom is within you, right? It's where you will start slowly, slowly building the muscle of trusting yourself, your knowing, your gut, your intuition. There are many ways to do it. Access is the simplest one that I found. Everybody could have their own way. I found that access is the most fun, the most simple. If I could teach my three-year-old and seven-year-old and they could practice it easily, means it definitely works. Right, Because if a five-year-old can do it, it's childproof. Anyone can do it, right? So with that, guys, I would like to take your leave. Thank you very much. If you still have any questions at all, any doubts, any confusion, feel free to reach out to us. If you want to repeat the class, I know some of my old students are here. You will get the repeater's prize if you've done it once in the past. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in person there are very few classes. I think other than access, I don't do anything in person. So I'm looking forward to seeing maximum of you spending the entire day with you, sharing more stories, more magic, and literally asking how much more fun can we have together. So I'm coming from nothing. I mean, coming from nothing. Sorry, Dhawal, I didn't get your question. Would you like to unmute and ask?
धवल ओके आई डिट अंडरस्टैंड दैट क्वेश्चन आई एम सॉरी ओके सो ओके धवल यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी सेपरेटली ऑन व्हाट्सएप लीव मी अ वॉइस नोट विथ योर क्वेश्चन if you've been logged off by any chance and uh, we shall connect so good night guys take care see you in person soon in delhi bombay bangalore dubai hyderabad vadodara ahmedabad guwahati jaipur all right so i'm looking forward to seeing you and stay safe keep smiling and remember you are awesome